Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Different. I am a motivational speaker, an author, and the CEO of my own business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC. And this video that I'm making right now is in dedication of those who are struggling with depression, any type of mental health illness, uh, dealing with bullying, and it's just feeling like, you know, they want to end it all. As well as, you know, for those who are in business for themselves, you know, entrepreneurs, authors, writers, uh, actors, you know, bloggers, photographers, whatever it is that, you know, people are doing whatever they love and they're feeling defeated about it. This video is for you guys. And so I've been joining a, a lot of Facebook groups and I see day in and day out a lot of discouragement to the point to where I've seen somebody posted um, that their book. They were an author and they, they hadn't had any sales and if they didn't commit suicide within the next three months, that would be a miracle. And so... Um, it was put on my heart to do this little video and get this idea of something that, you know, what can we do here at Third Eye NT to, you know, spread social awareness and get involved. And I came up with the woe challenge um it's spelled w-o-e and what it is is the words of encouragement challenge and so what you would do for anybody out there who wants to participate you will make a quick video it can be short long doesn't matter um you would do you know just some words of encouragement to anybody out there that's listening that's going through uh within your same field so if you're a writer you would you know make it to the writers you know a, a, a blogger, YouTube, whatever you, whatever it is that you, you know, you, what tickles your fancy, whatever, it does not matter. Just as long as you're offering words of encouragement to others who are in your field and um, encourage them to keep going as well as the trick about that as well as to um, advertise yourself and your, promote your own products and business um, without it being so obvious. You have to be subtle about it. But the main gist of it is to encourage people who are in your, your same boat that you are as well as being able to get you some clout. And so um, <clears throat> check out my video. Um, it's not <laughs> all grand, but you'll get the gist of, you know, how I did it. And my the main point of it, again, is just to encourage people, to, you know, who are going through a hard time and who are feeling depressed and uh, need those that, that push and that support. And the video, you know, it would help. And so um, I'm not trying to go viral or anything. I don't care about that. My main gist is, you know, somebody out there that needs to hear, you know, those words of encouragement as well as on the other end, you know, you helping yourself by promoting your business and your product or your services or so whatever. And so the Woe Challenge, it helps not just you, but others as well. And so I hope you guys uh, take heed to it and enjoy me with the Woe Challenge and encouraging others to keep going and stay motivated. And for anybody out there who is going to, again, through any type of mental illness, depression, dealing with, you know, bullying or feeling suicidal, please note that. It's okay to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay. Go get help and, and whatever that means to you, whether it be talking to a therapist, a family member, a friend, picking up a hobby, mending a broken bridge, cutting other people off that, that mean you know well, do that. It's okay, again, to not be okay, but just don't sit there and not be okay. So with that being said, you guys, check out my video. <laughs> I know this is a video within itself, um, but my video, uh, Words of Encouragement, and I guys, want you guys to look at that as an example of what I mean by the Woke Challenge, the Words of Encouragement Challenge. So here it is. Check it out. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, if you like, check out my website, differentsworld.net, and uh, find out more about me. But it's not about me right now. It's about others and encouraging them. So check out my web, my video here afterwards. This comes on, and then you guys get into it and get involved as well. Difference World, come and learn. Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Different, spelled D-I-F-E-N-R-T. Yes, that is my name. I am a motivational speaker, an author, an entrepreneur, uh, CEO of my own business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which it educates, inspires, and motivates all at once. And I just want to take this time to make this video for all the writers, authors, um, journalists, anybody that's in the writing field, or any entrepreneurial, for that matter, that's going through it and struggling, you know, with sales, promotion, being, building clientele, 
Um, I just want to offer my, my words of encouragement to you all uh, and some advice, uh, some, some tactics I've learned along the way. Um, number one, don't give up. Number two, keep writing. Number three, know your target audience, know where they're located, know what they want, and know what it is that's going to make them tick, and so and how to market and package the product to them. Um, number three, excuse me, number four, <laughs> manifest it, man. Manifest, plan, prepare. That is our motto at Third Eye ENT is to manifest, plan, and prepare for whatever it is that you want in life, and it will come to you. As far as manifestation, you have to speak it into existence, what it is that you want to achieve in life. And so for those out there who plan on or who want to write that best-selling book, manifest it. Start speaking it. Start acting like you're a number one best-selling author before it even comes. Um, one thing I did before I published my book, and which is out now, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, I got this, a content calendar. And it has changed my life for the better. Um, I've been able to keep up with content, come up with content, if you will. I've been able to track my audience with them and understand what it is that they want to see and want to hear. Because um, understand that it's not about you and what you want to present to the public. It's what they want and what they're willing to buy from you. And so um, when you're marketing a book, again, study your target audience, um, network. Word of mouth is always the best uh, uh, number one resource and tool is word of mouth. But network, get on these Facebook groups like you guys are doing, and, and don't give up. When you guys meet a roadblock, just know that it's just a stepping stone for you getting to your, your finish point. So you have to keep going. You have to keep writing. You have to be encouraged. Even when you don't have that support from your family, your friends, and they're seeing your posts and they're ignoring it, don't worry about that. Two years, three years from now, you're going to be in a totally different space. And I promise you, I promise you, if you just keep going, keep motivated, and, and, and keep pushing forward, if you will, like I saw, like I said, just keep going. You will, you know, reap your benefit and the reward in the end. Um, and so with that being said, for me, and, and as for me in my book, <laughs> What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, we are, I'm manifesting that this book, my first book, will be a number one bestseller of all times. It's going to be the book that rings the world's bell. And so that's how you have to feel about your book. And in your product and what you're serving to the public and believe in it. And even if somebody doesn't like it, a lot of people have said, you know, this book is it, too taboo, it's too grimy, it's too gritty. But that's okay. Some people out there like that. And, and so with that being said, you go where you celebrate it and not where you tolerate it. No matter what you stand for, what you're about, what you like to talk about, what you believe in, there's always going to be somebody out there that's going to condone what you're doing. So keep doing it. Don't get discouraged. Don't give up just because, you know, you have a lot of haters and they say they're leaving you bad reviews. That's okay because the one thing about it, whether they're talking about you good or bad, they're still talking. So that's the point of it all is to have them talking. So you're doing your job. And with that being said, um, for more uh, information on me, go to my website, differenceworld.net. Uh, check out my book, What If, A Controversial Paradigm Shift. Anybody that needs support and somebody to follow them on their Facebook page, hey, drop your link below in the video and I'll follow you. You follow me back and we should support each other. That's what it's about. Authors got to stick together and so, and it's writers as well. And so, anybody out there that's listening, again, uh, how's that old saying go? If I can find an email, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. So just keep writing, just keep writing, and one day you will have that finished book, and it's going to be selling millions and millions of copies. But in order for you to do that, you got to put the pen to the paper. You got to see it before you receive it. Receive it, excuse me. Other than that, um, that's my words of encouragement for you guys out there that's listening and that needs this. I, I see a lot of posts in these Facebook groups where people, you know, they're, they're discouraged. And so don't give up. Don't give in. It, it, it gets better. <laughs> and so with that being said, Difference World, come and learn. Have a good one, guys. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift 
It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustrations, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author different illustrations by Anastasia Arnold coming August 2021 go to differenceworld.net